It is a great satisfaction to greet you and I hope you find yourself well, both you and your pet. In today's video we will talk about the following. Pica syndrome in dogs, what causes it and what to do, let's find out now. Pica is a condition where dogs crave and eat non-food items. Some dogs can only eat one type of object, while others will eat a wide variety of objects. Pica can endanger a dog's health because what it swallows can be toxic, disrupt the normal digestive process, or lodge in its intestinal tract. Dogs with pica can eat anything from golf balls to drywall, but items infused with their owner's scent are their favorites. Things like socks, underwear, and pantyhose are the most common. Towels and washcloths are also very common. Other items your dog eats include rocks, children's toys, batteries, books, magazines, and even baby wipes. Dogs seem to view them as food and will repeatedly eat the same type of item, even if they get very sick or require surgery. 1. The Diagnosis of Pica in Dogs Pica is usually diagnosed as a result of the behavior itself. There may be abnormalities that can be detected in the laboratory if the condition is associated with other diseases, but not for pica itself. This is because pica is not always related to a medical condition. While identifying pica itself may not be difficult, figuring out what causes it can be tricky. Anything from hunger or nutritional imbalances to hormonal imbalances and diseases like diabetes and thyroid problems can contribute to pica syndrome. Some breeds, like Labrador Retrievers, are more prone to pica. To determine if the behavior is due to a medical problem, your vet may run blood, urine, feces, and other tests to check for improper digestion or malabsorption, the presence of parasites, and more. Additionally, pica can also be triggered by emotional issues such as separation anxiety and stress. Usually we think of dogs with separation anxiety as being destructive, but in some cases, they also eat some or all of the items they are destroying. And boredom will often cause high-energy dogs to look for something to do. 2. Treatment and prevention of pica in dogs. Treating pica may require two different approaches, addressing any health or behavioral issues. Health problems are often the easiest to treat. For example, if the condition is found to be due to a nutritional deficiency, it may be an easy solution to supplement the missing nutrient or change the diet or, in the case of parasites, treat them. Diet changes are recommended. Three or four small meals a day are physiologically easier for the body to digest, absorb, and assimilate compared to one or two larger meals a day. Dogs with pica have some kind of digestive disorder that is reflected in their abnormal dietary preferences, and improving nutrition levels may help reduce that behavior. Adding enzyme medications for dogs, probiotics, and whole grain supplements like antioxidants to the diet may also help. While lab tests are pending, nutrition is most critical. Also, if the pica is related to anxiety or boredom, treating the anxiety or providing more stimulation and activity will certainly help. There are several medical treatments for anxiety in dogs, and these can help if anxiety is the cause. Some dogs also respond to stimulation, and a wide, rotating selection of chew toys may be enough to keep them busy and out of trouble. If the cause of your dog's pica cannot be found, there are things you can do to prevent further problems, such as eliminating the kinds of items your dog likes to eat. For example, if he's eating socks or underwear, look for a basket that your dog can't break that would prevent him from accessing the item he wants to eat. This is especially important if your dog prefers objects that can cause gastrointestinal obstructions due to their size or type of material. Would you like to have more professional information and especially updated about your dog? Visit the website below in the description of this video. Do not stop subscribing to the channel, comment, and share the video. You are very well. Thank you.